when you're getting into the backcountry, like I said, right off the bat, you want to get the gear, and a lot of local retailers will help you with that. Uh, you want to get the forecast, which I talked about, um, and then you want to get the training. At the very beginning, it's, it's a matter of uh, taking it one step at a time and not overwhelming yourself. Play to your strengths and know what kind of learner you are. If you're someone that um, learns more by hearing, there are endless avalanche podcasts. If you have internet, you can look at weather forecasts. Uh, you can look up online Abbey forecasts. Read their forecasts daily. There are amazing books out there. There are lots of videos. There are training courses. And we're introducing a lot more free virtual options this year. There's everything from an e-learning module that will kind of step you through the basics to like a one hour lecture that's just going to introduce the basic ideas. Um, from there, I think it's really crucial for people to get into the field. So there's either just a awareness course that includes a lecture and one full day with an instructor in the field where they're going to introduce uh, terrain management and Res companion rescue, which are the two big things um, before you ever get into the snow science, is just knowing how to manage terrain and stay out of avalanche terrain. Uh, you can get into the backcountry every single day without stepping foot into avalanche terrain.